So we might have accidentally uh, stirred a little bit of a pot, maybe. Oh boy. <laughs> and if you missed it, you can watch it right there. But we're gonna go ahead and set a post right next to a house again. Ah, <sighs> here we go again. We gave our opinion of we don't attach our fences to the house and we got a ton of feedback. Like, oh my gosh. So there's some people out there that are saying that they have to attach to the house based on the insurance company. It's my insurance company? No. Uh, over in Florida, I think maybe is what it was. I had no idea. I had no idea. I guess my question is, is are we sure sure about this? Why is the, why is the insurance company requiring that the fence be attached to the house? It doesn't make sense. That just seems, that seems bizarre to me. Something's fishy. In Wyoming, we are pretty dry here, so we don't have a ton of groundwater, so we don't have a lot of drain tiles in there. But we saw a comment for that one about, well, there's a drain tile there. We can't put a fence post there. My thought, if there is enough distance in between the foundation and the drain tile, and enough distance between the top of the ground and the top of the footer, you should be able to put a post there without attaching to the house. That's just my opinion. Don't, don't, don't criticize me. Don't hit me over the head on that one. We as a company, it is our industry standard within this company that we do not attach a fence post to the house. Ever. Period. Unless if you absolutely should ever, ever have to. Um, if you have to, still try to come up with one more way that you don't have to. Try not to. Years ago, way, way back when, and so way back when, when I was first starting out and first started doing fence, I attached a post to a house. <gasps> you what? You're one of those too? I was, I did, 100%. And I was like, oh man, that's so much easier. You don't have to dig a hole. You don't have to do nothing. You just gotta slap the post to the house. But holy moly, boy, did I ever get criticized by the homeowner. After all the posts were said and done, the homeowner got home and boy, was that homeowner ever oh so upset with me because I attached a post to the house. I didn't ask permission to attach a post to the house. So maybe that's my fault for doing that as I just attached a post to the house. The old fence was attached to the house, so I attached the new post to the house. But the homeowner was completely unhappy ended up being okay with it but i still never asked permission so i guess shame on me for doing that and ever since then i have never attached a post to a house again it's not worth it there's a ton of risk that you run into when you attach a post to a house i don't know what's in, within this wall i'm not on the inside of the house i don't know what's there there could be electrical there taking a screw, a fastener, and running it into a wire, causing a short, causing a short, cars a spark, set the house on fire eventually, maybe, yeah, possibly. That's a risk that you're accepting if you're attaching to a house. So one time in one of my previous houses that I owned, I could never get two lights to work. I did everything, replaced all the bulbs, couldn't figure it out. Found out that they attached the address marker with a three inch screw, and that three inch screw ran through a wire, causing a dead short and not allowing the lights to work on the outside of the house. If that can happen, with mounting a sign, an address label to a house, what's the chances of that happening when mounting a fence post to a house? Along with that, our fences, they have to meet a certain wind load. So we say that our fences meet X amount of wind, right? So now by attaching to a house, that attach point has to be able to meet that wind load that we're saying that our fence is rated for. If our fence is rated for 85 miles per hour, that means that this point has to be just as strong as setting in concrete. I never thought of that. Our customer currently, they're building the house, they're in the process of building the house. They're gonna run brick all the way up to here and then they're gonna fill in the rest with siding. If we attach our post to the house right now, they're gonna run their brick and they're gonna run their siding up to our post all the way around. Let's say that 20 years down the road, Mrs. Betty Luhu, she buys the house and she doesn't, she doesn't want this color, so she wants to rip it out and put it in tan. She wants to change how it ties into the house, but she can't change how it ties into the house because if you take this post out, you now have a void in between the siding and the brick on the corner of the house. All things to think about of attaching to the house. I understand that you guys are saying that there are some circumstances when you have to attach to the house. I give you that, maybe there is 100%, maybe you have to. But I can tell you for us, we're gonna continue on the way that we have been, which is not attaching the post to the house. And if you have to get around a footer, there is a different method of getting around the footer and that's an offset post. And that is right here. In summary, in conclusion, we're still gonna continue installing residential fence without attaching posts to the house. 
I'm sorry, it has to be that way, but that's the way that we're choosing to do it. And if you guys are doing it different, thumbs up to you, as long as your fence is withstanding all those windstorms. Now, if you guys missed the first video, make sure and catch it out right here. Stand with SWI, we are Wyoming's fence and gate company. We hope you have a good dang day.